Hi everybody, Adam here with eTrailer. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the PWAG all square snow tire chains on our 2020 Ram 1500. So these are gonna be a ladder pattern style chain. So these are going to be a little bit less easy on you when you're driving compared to some of those spring roller style cable chains, just because those don't have near as much height to your tire than these do, but I definitely think we're gonna get a lot more benefits to it just because we're gonna get a lot more traction than the roller style. And also we are going to just get all in all better traction, starting, stopping, turning, everything like that. And as you guys can see, we do have a square link and we are going to have about 5.6 millimeters of size. So that is going to be a little less aggressive than the seven millimeter size PWAG chains you guys may be looking at but these are just gonna give a little bit nicer ride than those seven millimeter ones. But what I really like about it is one, obviously it's made of manganese nickel alloy steel, so it's extremely strong. These are hardened too, so they're gonna be a little bit stronger than just the manganese nickel, nickel alloy. But also, I just like the fact that it's not anywhere near my rim. I don't want my chains to somehow come and maybe get pushed in from something and hit my rim this way even if we hit something and it's pushing in on our chains, they're not gonna come in and hit our rim and hurt it. I just want it to protect my investment and luckily these are gonna do that. Another thing I really like about it is the amount of adjustabilities that we have. We have multiple links that we can pick from up front at our connection and also in the back at our connection. And then also we have one, two, three cams that we can go ahead and tighten down and that's just gonna get us an extremely tight fit just so you guys can just get that peace of mind that they're not gonna fly off and scrape your wheel well or something like that. So that is definitely what I think is a great plus for these chains specifically. They do come in a pair of two. It doesn't come with a canvas bag or a zip up bag or anything, but these aren't necessarily the worst type of bags. It is going to hold the chains nice and we're gonna have plenty of room still after we put both in to be able to hold these up and carry them around. So I would definitely say this isn't the worst bag that a chain could come in. Also for your two wheel drive applications, just go ahead and grab one. It comes in a pair of two, but if you guys are planning on putting on all four wheels of our Ram here, just grab two of these and they should fit just as well. Other than that, they are really easy to install. So let's just go ahead and show you guys how. So first things first, let's inspect our chains. We wanna lay them out and we wanna make sure there's no kinks in our links. Everything lays out nice and flat, no tangles or anything like that. And then there's two things that we need to make sure of. One, we wanna make sure that the cams are gonna be on the outside of our tire, as you see here. And then also these little links here, there's one side that's gonna have a little sharper edge on it and then the other side is going to be a little bit smoother so we want the smooth part to be facing towards our tire so once we get those in line and in order what we need to do is just grab the center of our chains and drape them over the tire we're going to do our best to make it nice and even both this way and also we want to make sure we have the same amount of hang on the right and the left side of our tire. But once we get all that kind of squared away, we can go ahead, go around back and make our first connection. So on one end, we're gonna have our hook. And then on the other end, we're gonna have a bunch of spare links. I do recommend you guys do this in your garage first before you guys are in the situation where you need these, just so we know exactly which link we need to get the right fit so we can limit our time outside in the cold. So I'm just gonna use the one at the very end for now, and then we're gonna go around front and make our connection. Same thing around front. I'm gonna pull it. We're gonna try to link this hook onto the link here. And we do have a decent amount of slop, as you guys can see, but luckily we have more points of adjusting. We can either change the link that we put on the front or the back, or we can go ahead and tighten our cams. So we do have a tool that comes with our kit, kind of looks like this. We're gonna go ahead and start. I usually start with the middle one, just because you do however you want to, but we're gonna rotate these 
And as we do that, it's going to take a little bit more slack out every single time we do it. And for our last one. So that definitely took out all that slack. I hardly have any slack at all. So we should be good here, but we do recommend that we go ahead and grab a rubber tensioner. And really all we need to make sure of with the rubber tensioner is that we take the hook section of it and we wanna make sure it's gonna be facing out away from our tire. And these are not included with the kit. So you won't see them in the bag with your other chains. But if you guys just scroll down on that web page, it'll be in our related product section. So you guys can go ahead and grab some of those. So it is a one-stop shop. You don't got to run anywhere to get it. But we do want to make sure that we're doing our best to keep it as symmetrical as we can, just to evenly distribute all of that pressure. But once that's all done, we do recommend that you roll over it a couple of times and then come back out check make sure all of the tightness is still there and if it is we're pretty much ready to hit the road and that's pretty much it for a look at the pwag all square snow tire chains on our 2020 ram 1500.